is Lily Tulishati. I am from International Program on Science Education, Faculty of Mathematics and Science Education, Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia, the Education University in Indonesia. Today, I am going to share to you about the item analysis with Rush model using Minister. Activities. The first one, construct win step file or CF or construct file. The second is checking the reliability. There are two reliability in REST model. The first one, item reliability, and the second one, person reliability. And the third activity is check the item dimensionality. The fourth is check the item measure and five check the person measure and the last let's construct variable or write maps the first is split right down mini step in google and then please find out the official website in www.winstep.com and then click this website and this is the information about the mini step this is free software to analyze rest model uh, this is uh, what is the uh, win step mini step is reduced from the uh, win step so the official is win step but for the trial we can use mini step this is it can be successful functionally but with the limited for 25 items and 70 uh, students or sample or cases we hope you can also purchase with the official win step uh, this is the uh, tutorial this is the link pdf this is file and then you can download for this file okay let's see the first uh, about the tutorial then click and this is the information in the tutorial of the Rush model. We can see the video uh, tutorial and explanation in YouTube and also in official website. Uh, this is the topic for the tutorial. You can draw and then you can uh, see what is the topic that can we choose to learn more. Also, we can see this is the recombination of uh, books uh, to learn more about the Rush model. You can click and then read more. And the last, we can see this is the event. This is the list of the event based on the Rush model. Uh, we can see. And then uh, this is, for example, for this year 2022. You can click and then join with the online webinar. The next is the load you can uh, download with the menu or button free download click and then see this is the progress here. Let's install the software by phone the result of the download in our PC and then you can double click 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 yes. Click next. Next. You have already successful uh, installed uh, software in your PC and then we can see the application in our dashboard. Let's prepare the test item 
So you can open the Google form for your online test and then click response click download this one this is the download response as already let's see our result from download you can right click and then extract file okay And we can see this is the folder as the result of the our extraction. Then click. Then to copy copy paste in the Excel. For our data, so in column A, this is the information of our students, student one up to student twenty six. And F M N, this is belong to gender. For example, this one four F. That means this is student number four, and the gender is female. And column B up to column K, this is the information belong to our questions. For example, question 1 up to question 10. Uh, this is the example of the student response. Two correct, two options, correct and incorrect. One for correct, zero for incorrect answer. So you can input. Let's start to use Ministep. So please open your software Ministep in your PC by using double click, 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 and then please open. And please select the source of data by click Excel because we have already provided the data in Excel before. Click Excel and then please find out our file in Excel and let's wait for input the data. The data has already inputted in the wind step, so please focus in the red line. There are three red lines, but please focus in the first and the second. So please copy and paste or you can cut the information in item response variables and also cut and paste in person's label variable. The next is please click the menu construct wind step file. Then let's wait. Now, let's see the result of our CF or construct file. So, if you find out the file seems like this, so that means you have already successful with your CF or construct file. Let's start analyze the data. The first is let's see about the reliability. So you can close the applications and come to this menu and then click file, open file. Please find out the CF that's already made before. This one shouldn't answer CF. So this is the, the type is the extent and then open. And then enter twice or double enter. Enter and then enter. Okay, so we can see in here the result of the reliability. In Rust model, there are two types of the reliability. The first one is item reliability and person's reliability. The specific file you can see by click output tables and the summary statistics. So we can see in here the recap of our result from reliability. So there are two reliability, item reliability and person's reliability. 
For example, this one, this is the person's reliability is 0.10 and for the item reliability is 0.85. So that means for the person, this is low but for the item reliability is high because we would like focus on the uh, quality of the test item so we can use the item reliability. It's very high. So the minimum accepted is 0.7. So this means this package of best item can we use for the further pieces. To see the validity of the test item package, so we can see in here based on the wrong variance. There are two types of the wrong variance. The first one explained and unexplained. So the first one, let's see, for the valid or for the accepted test item, that should be wrong variance explained more than 40%. But for the wrong unexplained variance should be lower than 15%. So let's check our result. To see the validity for each test item, we can open the file by using mini step and then click output tables and click item measure. Let's wait. To see the validity based on the persons, we can do the same activity with the previous by click on put tables and then click person measure. Uh, this is the result based on the students or based on the persons. We can see this one, uh, the range accepted is same with the previous 0.5 up to 1.5 for the column of the measure. And for the odd bit and point correlation, the same with the previous. Let's check one by one. Analyze the distribution of student achievement by click output tables. And then click variable or right maps and then click. So we can see in here, in the left, this is the distribution based on the persons and the right distribution based on the test item. So we can see in here which student belongs to higher achiever, which uh, student should be moderate achiever and which student uh, become lower achiever. For example, this one, 2 up to 4, this is to be the high achiever, 0 up to 1 to be moderate achiever, and more lower than uh, 0, that means low achiever. And we can see in here, which test item to be the difficult, and which to be medium, and which one to be easy. Let's check one by one. If you need to recheck the right maps you can recheck with the person method that we have already analyzed before so we can see uh, we can see this is same result based on the right map and person method congratulations you have already tried to analyze the test item with rest model using mini step Hopefully, our activities can benefit for you and also can support your research skill. Good luck! Have a nice day!